What's going on, everybody? Today I'm here to show you a quick introduction to Trade Locker Mobile. What it is, how to use it, etc. So if you've been trading Forex on brokers like KOT Forex or Osprey FX or Henko Trades, you'll realize that MetaTrader is no longer available. So the alternative is Trade Locker. So I'm just going to give you a quick dive into what's available on here, how to use it real quick. I really like Trade Locker. I'm going to start off with that. The reason why I like it is because, as you can see, it's charts bought to you by TradingView. They're powered by TradingView, right? So, you know, MetaTrader was very old school, very clunky. This is very modern, what I'm used to charting on anyways. Now it's right here at my fingertips, right? So let's start from top to bottom. First off, we see the asset panel. I'm calling it the asset panel. They call it instruments. Here's where you can see everything offered. You can search. You know, I can search GBP. JPY as you notice it pops up right now I can search BTC USD as you notice it pops up cool now I can also just filter by instrument types so I can just look at cryptos I can just look at Forex exotics I can just look at the European stock market shares they have offered on my broker right so or I could just do all right and now I can see everything now I want you to take notice in this notice how crypto it's very light and then right below crypto it's like darkened out when it's darkened out that means the market is closed for this specific instrument this specific asset right when the market when the when it's not dimmed out when it's bright like these cryptos that means that you're available to play to place a trade right at this moment it's open market right just a quick little you know so now let's say you found something that you want to put onto your uh your watch list or your favorites so you don't have to always go through this whole scrolling process finding everything right what you want to do is you want to long press on an asset if you click go to instrument that'll take you to the charts if you click on view details That'll show you, you know, the, the key information, lot sizes, swap fees, leverage, margin requirements, stuff like that, right? Now, if I click right below that, long hold again, add to favorites. Now it's in my short list, my watch list, right? I can add another one to my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I want to add a Forex major into my favorites, like USD, JPY. Okay. Now, those were all starred items, right? let me click on the star I only see USD JPY but remember we're in a filter for Forex majors so if I click on all I can see my Bitcoin favorites my Litecoin favorites my USD favorites so I can always refer back to my favorites every time and that'll save right if I click on if I click on it I don't have to click the favorites button again right the favorite button is already popped up boom it's perfect so that's the instruments panel let's pull up the trades panel on the trades panel you can find your open positions your pending positions your past trades up until the year mind you this is a brand new demo account so there will be no trade history here brand new demo account just for this video right so that's the trade panel now we click on the PL where it says demo if you're in the live account it'll say PL live but because we're in demo it says PL demo Here's where you can see your balances, your equity, the margin available, margin used. You can switch to a live. You can contact support and turn on one-click trading. You can also switch accounts. So say you have more than one demo account, you can switch them right here. I only have one demo account on this account setup, on this Trade Locker platform setup, so you only see one here. But like if we go to my switch to live, let me switch to live real quick. If we switch to live, you'll see that I have more than one account right if we go to accounts I've got two accounts on my life right I've got a 100x leverage and a 500x leverage so yeah we're gonna do that let's go back to demo for the purposes of this video all right so now we're back in demo now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the five minute tab the 10 minute tab okay just like in trade trading view you can favorite time frames and then they'll stay sticking to your toolbar so if I remove all my favorites 
I don't have anything but the current time frame open, right? And I can switch it, whatever, whatever. Now, if I favorite them with the star, they'll always be on my toolbar. They'll always be on my toolbar. And I won't have to click the arrow yet. But if I want to click the arrow, I could get onto other things like the weekly, you know, like the weekly. And then I could zoom out and see what I'm looking at. Right. OK, boom. But now I could just click on 15 minute, four hour, you know, and everything is there. Right. Click on the five minute. You can't even see information. Why? Because it's so it's so it's so zoomed out. Right. But if I zoom in, you could see it. Boom. OK. Now, next, you got the candlesticks. If I click on the candlesticks, same premise. You only see one candlestick now, which is the normal default. But I could favorite lines. I could favorite the step line. I could favorite the Heikinashi. And then those options will pop up on my toolbar right here. And I could quickly switch. Right. I can quickly switch. But I like the regular candles. So I'm going to go with the regular candles and I'm going to unfavorite all these other ones because I don't really use them. Now the FX you should be aware of. That's just like trading view. FX will bring up your indicators. Now, the only thing I've noticed so far with trade locker and trade locker is in beta mode. So it could be updated soon. But the only thing I've noticed with trade locker in terms of indicators, you're only going to get basic indicators. There will be no custom indicators. So the buy sell signals that you could find on on trading view, they're not going to pop up on trade locker. You're only going to see trading view stock, you know, indicators. Only the only the stock indicators that come with TradingView you will be able to see. Any custom ones, they're not going to be available as of right now on TradeLocker. Okay, now the four squares, that's how you can save an indicator template. I'm sure you've done that before. You know what that's about. If you don't know, when you have a bunch of indicators on your, on your chart and you want to pop those same indicators up for another asset, that's where saving an indicator template comes in handy, all right? You can just put all the same indicators in a click of one button. All right, here where it says unnamed, you can make a copy. Make a copy. I'll call this Forex Test Layout. All right now, I got a layout saved. Now, I can load up a layout. I can load out my Forex Test Layout or my unnamed layout. You know, there's layout still here, and it'll actually save the layouts for you. Um, if I go to the settings section, that's where you could edit your settings, you know, for the actual charts, how the scales look, how the colors of the of the charts of the actual candles look, um, you know, what's being shown on a status line, what the actual background of the chart colors look like, if there's a grid or not, um, stuff like that. That's what the settings is for. This full screen thing is really fake. It doesn't really do anything. It just removes. You'll see. I'm going to click it now. It only removed the top toolbar. It didn't really do much, right? As you can see. So it's not, it just gives you an extra like half an inch of space. It doesn't really do much for you. Um, but yeah, that's what the full screen button does. Now you already know the side. You can scroll on the side, right? You can scroll, pinch, zoom, right? Pinch, zoom. I can drag up, down. All right. What's this A and L thing on my on my bottom in the bottom right right here? Well, A is for auto lock so that my auto scale is 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 lit. No matter where I'm at, it's going to auto scale me, right? It's going to auto scale me. Boom, that's what the A is for. Auto scale. Bang. I'm on auto scale. You feel that? I'm on auto scale. Okay. The L, when I click that, that's that logarithmic thing when it be like, do you want to see in a logarith logarithmic scale or not? That's what that is, All right? So boom, that's what that is. Now, oh my gosh, Bitcoin tanking. Okay, now what's next? Next, we want to go ahead and look at the bottom left. You see under the trading view logo, there's an arrow. If I click it, it brings out all the drawing tools that I could possibly need to make sure I'm making good trades, right? So what what is this? Fib retracement. Okay, let's put a fib on. Click. Click. Three bars for the settings. 
you know, it could change the coordinates, extend lines, right? It's really just like trading view, y'all. It's literally just like trading view. Now I got my lines and my fib levels. Boom. You feel me? I could hide it. I could I could see the object trees so that I know what's on these on this layer. I could delete it, you know? Okay. Boom. Perfect. You could add to favorites. So look at this. Look at this. Trend line. I want the trend angle. I want the extended line. I want the trend line and my favorites, right? Look, I got the favorites thing right here on the screen, just like Trading View. If you've ever used that, I could turn it on and off with the star button. Again, if I don't want to see this this drawing tools, I could click the arrow again. It'll go away. Boom. Now here's another chart setting. The little hexagon is a little chart setting for that, right? This is where you get the auto fit data which is the same as that A button right here, right? That's how you get the auto fit data. Logarithmic scale, that was the L I was telling you about. You can invert the scale, count down the bar close if you wanna see that on the, on the right, you know what I mean? Boom. You could change the date range of how it's being shown, you know, just like TradingView. Now, here's my favorite part of Trade Locker that separates itself from MetaTrader right let's say I'm ready to enter a trade and I don't know how much this Bitcoin lot is gonna cost but I want to put in 0 0.1 lots oh look I don't have to guess anymore it literally tells me right above the lot size you're gonna be putting in forty one dollars and seventy nine cents or almost one percent of your balance all right okay I get you not even one percent of your balance I'm sorry that would be one percent of the of the of the assets price one lot four hundred dollars eight percent of the assets lot right because it's 41k okay so now I know how much it would cost to do a lot now let's say I wanted to sell this I could set take profits take losses let me click on a stop loss let me click on the take profit Here's so cool about this, right? Okay, I'm selling, I'm not buying, so I'm gonna click on that buy sell side. I want this to go down. Now my take profit, I can literally drag the take profit to wherever I think, like 40,400, right? Same thing with the stop loss. I can drag my stop loss to where I want it to be. So I think that is a safe stop loss. So I'll be risking $241 to make a possible 1,300 bucks, right? If this is to keep on shorting, which in all honesty, if it shorts, it's going down to 38 bands, not 40. So 40.4 would be, you know, a safety net. So let's see, go back to 40.4. And if I click execute sell, confirm. I've now entered the sale. I'm in a buy, I'm in a sale of Bitcoin, right? So we just sit there and wait. You can see your profits and loss right here. You already know we set the stop loss, so there's no reason to, you know what I mean? Now let's go back to trade so we can run into what a pending and, and, and open position looks like. So open position, if I click on BTC, it'll bring me back to the charts. If I click at the bottom, I can copy the ID. I can close partially for maybe a half a, half a lot instead of the whole lot. I can fully close this position. I can edit my position, meaning if I want to change my stop loss, okay, this is cool too. I could even set it to, ooh, I'm willing to risk 5% total. So at 5%, cut my losses, right? I want to make at least 30% gains. So now instead of selling at the price of 40.400, it says I have to sell at 40.280 to get my 30% uh, gains. And then I click confirm and boom, now we just reset my my take profit and stop loss levels right so this is how you use trade locker this is why i like trade locker so much it's an updated version of metatrader that we've been looking for but i'll come back to you with some more videos regarding trade locker but as of right now that's what um that's what we talking about that's what we talking about trade locker is probably the new wave when it comes to this forex trading and and how to get it done right I'm excited to see the new updates. This is still in beta mode. So once we actually release to the public and it's available for everyone, this is going to be something crazy. But yeah, y'all catch y'all when I catch y'all. Peace.